it's a gamble, even if you already have a brand established. So I started brewing right after college with another friend of mine, and that's kind of when things got crazy, took off. Played with the idea of someday maybe it opening my own place and came up with the name at that point. Intergalactic, I, I really was, when I was first starting to homebrew, I really wanted to come up with an idea for a brewery. And I really liked places that had like a theme to their beer. I always liked Star Wars and Star Trek and all those, you know, fantastic like sci-fi stuff. I know my brewing philosophy is a lot of, based on a lot of traditional styles, but I also like to play with new ingredients and do beers in different ways. You know, we're intergalactic, we're beyond just traditional like earthbound beers in a way. Everybody has a different brewing tradition. I found types of beers that were just my favorite. And um, from drinking? From drinking, yes. I mean that's that's the way that's the way you learn. <laughs> the the name kind of plays off some of my ideals in beer, so really trying to do new things and, and create new flavors. Part of it's a lot of my friends are into beer. It doesn't matter what I do, or very encouraging. Of course, my girlfriend I've been with for 10 years. She doesn't get mad at me when I am out in the garage tinkering with something or, or over here at the brewery working on stuff. And without her, yeah, it would, this, this wouldn't be as, as easy or possible, I think. Um, it just, um, when you have that constantly available for emotional support, it really helps. Sure. Hopefully she's listening to this. So we're gonna start with uh, four regular beers we're gonna have on draft all the time. We're gonna start with um, our subspace session ale, which is kind of played in my sci-fi nerdiness because subspace is what you are after when you're not in light speed. Do Andromeda IPA. You have to have an IPA if you brew in San Diego because it's at the IPA capital of the world. And Orion Stout, which is named after the constellation and you know, the belt. Our Astro Scottish Ale, sort of a tribute to the place that got me into beer. Well, like I said, I, when I was in Arizona State, I lived a block and a half away from a brewery over there called Four Peaks, and they had a Scottish Ale that was their main beer called Kilt Lifter. I just loved it. It was the first like beer I ever like. I need to have more of that, and it just stuck. I like to push the boundaries, and it's kind of harder and harder and harder to push the boundaries these days because everybody is. They're all pushing. It's like, oh, everybody's put spinach in a beer now, so nobody's going to do it anymore. But. I don't think anybody actually has yet, so I'm gonna have to do a spinach beer now. It's not necessarily, a, it's not a monetary thing. It's it's a, me being able to lead the life that I want to lead. It's stressful, because I don't get to come home and not worry about it. It's scary. It's also kind of freeing, because you have, you have so much liberty, because nobody is above you saying you can or can't do something. And I, I think it fits me. Because I like to, when I, when I do something, I like to own it. I like to completely envelop it. So I, a year ago, started thinking really hard about doing this. And I know that if I never would have done it in 20 years, I would have gone, man, I really should have done that. And I would have thought of myself as being less successful because I didn't do something I wanted to do. You know, I felt the same way about when I started playing music. I, you know, for so many years, you're in your bedroom playing guitar and singing and like, oh, I got to go do this. I gotta get out there and maybe I'll you know change the rock and roll. You, you don't, but um, but if I didn't get on that stage the first time with my band, I would have always wanted it. And I feel like this became the same thing. It came with such a passion that if I didn't start it and didn't try to do the thing I wanted to do, I would not have been as much a success for myself as I am now. Learning something new, finding something new, trying something new. I mean, the world's a big place and it's amazing to go out and, man, I learned something new today. You know, doing the same thing over and over again isn't my idea of fun, isn't my idea of something I want to do. And owning a business, you're going to do a lot of different things, but this business is also very creative. So every day you can come in and you can try something different. 